Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn how to make a wheel flat. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit different approach to what I've been doing before. Uh, previously, here's what I did. Now, if there was a curve, um, so let's a set of curves like this, what I would do is just make a circle like this, basically to mimic the shape. Now, do notice that it's a little bit different than this one. So I, I would just uh, strike a curve like this, a uh, degree two, preferably. I would align a G2 to the circle like this. And basically, depending on how the bottom is, I would just uh, shift the CVs around here to make it fit. And after that, uh, here's, uh, well, I'm just going to delete that curve. So this is basically what I would come up with. So basically a circle on the top, curves attached to the bottom to mimic the shape at the bottom and I would just project that onto a surface like this. Now, the only problem is, um, while this method does work, uh, the only problem is it can sometimes give you a CV structure that's a little bit hard to work with. So let's say I have uh, I do a fit curve like this, and let's um, I'm going to just make it degree 6. Well, I'm going to let that crunch for a while, and I'm just going to query the history, and maybe I increase the spans. Now uh, you'll see that the CV structure is not exactly desirable. So here's what I'm going to do instead. Well, first of all, let's uh, let's just hide those, and I'm going to make a wheel flat based on the Maserati MC20. So first things first, uh, I'm going to just uh, strike a curve like this. Actually, let's start with a circle. So I'm just going to go to a key point curve toolbox like this. I'm going to grab circle, and basically I'm going to just mimic the wheel over here like that i think that's pretty good and i'm just going to copy and paste it and i'm just going to scale it up for the wheel flat or the inboard side of the wheel flat now do note that this is a perspective image even though it's a side view uh, it's basically a photo so there's going to be a little perspective so this might not be 100 percent accurate but well it seems close enough Okay, so now that's done, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it. So if you see the CV structure over here, you will see that the start and end is over here. So I'm just going to rotate it down. So I'm going to say 0, 090 like this, 0, 090 so that it rotates about the uh, Y axis and it turns like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strike a curve for, for the bottom of the wheel flat. Now there's a little bit of material breakup, so this is where I'm going to end it. And I'm just going to extend it over here like this. Now, do note that it's going over here, so you just got to be a little bit careful. You can do this, or if it doesn't work, you what you can do is you can just drag it back like this a little bit. And you can just zoom in onto this side and snap it, curve snap it like that. Do the same thing on the other side over here, and that's done. Now, here's the important part. So here's what makes a difference. Uh, uh, different from my previous method. So in the previous method, I would just strike a curve over here, a secondary curve, and I would just align it. But in this one, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab these CVs uh, like this. And I'm just going to do a no proportional scale like this. Now do notice that uh, when I drag the middle mouse one, you'll see that it's actually going up and down instead of side to side. So the reason for that is because this was transformed and it's rotated 90 degrees. So the basically the uh, non proportional scale axis is, um, is a little bit different. So in order to fix this, what you can do is you can go to transform over here and you can click on zero transform like this. And I'm just going to grab the CVs again and let's try no proportional scale with the middle mouse. And now it moves as it should. Okay. So I think that's actually pretty darn close, um, but I think I just need to move it a little bit over here. So I'm, again, I'm just going to grab the ECBs and I'm just going to do no proportional scale like this. And if you compare it to the original curve, well, actually I got rid of the original curve because that's a curve that I've been working with. You'll see that the structure is actually pretty darn close with a little bit of gentle push uh, as it goes towards the bottom. I think I can probably just do a little bit more, just push this out. Now that does push this a little bit in, so what you can do is you can grab the CVs over here and you can do a little bit of no proportional scale over here. 
Now, to be honest, uh, this was, I think it's a little bit easier example. Um, depending on the shape of the wheel flat, you might have a little bit more difficulty, but this is uh, the general idea of how to make this. Now, the one advantage of this is, first of all, well, it's a single span. And if I were to, I'm just going to create a surface for this. So I'm just going to move the pivot here for this curve like this. And let me just move it outboard like that. Usually wheel flat has, uh, does have a little bit of shape. So I'm just going to give it a little shape like this. And while I don't have a canvas for this, the front view, I'm just going to mimic it somewhat. So I'm just going to go over here like this, give it a little bit of tuck towards the bottom, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of shape like that. And I think that's good. Okay, so now that you have a curve, set of curves, I'm just going to create a monorail. So I'm just going to do parallel. It's going to be one and one. And now I'm just going to project over here using this curve like that. Okay, so that's good. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a fit curve like this. Now, because of this was a single span curve, uh, I'm going to see if I can reduce the spans. And let that crunch for a while. And there it is. If you look at it from the side view, the CV structure is actually not that bad. And if you look at it from the front view, let's check. CV structure, uh, it's curling in a little bit, so you probably want to like just try to pop it out a little bit like this. And I think that's the only adjustment needed, and that was pretty quick. Now, another thing you can do is you can literally just drag this curve over here and just match to from the front view, just move the slide the CVs around. Now, when you're doing this, you have to move it from the side view, uh, from the, uh, you have to move side to side only, Otherwise, you're going to get a little bit uh, weird shape. Now you can do this, um, whichever you want. I, I, it doesn't really matter. You can do that, or you can just project and uh, project it like this. Now, uh, I do need the outboard side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well, you can copy and paste, um, or you can do an offset. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to copy and paste it for the outboard side, looks like the surface is actually a little bit too small. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to extend it a little bit like that. Although I should have probably done that before or after uh, dealing the construction history over there. Looks like it's going to take a while. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to check from the front view, make sure that this is okay. Of course, it's not. Um, so I'm just going to actually delete the construction history and start over. All right, so now the surface is actually big enough. Let's move the curve over here. Like I said, you can either uh, just move the curves or you can project, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's try this one. So I'm going to say fit curve over here, 6-1. Let that crunch a little bit. Do the same thing over here for the inner one, like that. And of course, so from the front view, I think this um, the CV structure is not that great, so you can try to just pop that out, and there it is. Of course, you can always, like I said, you can just uh, drag these two out like this. And let's just go to the front view, and you can just adjust the CVs. Uh, now, uh, one thing, to note is that, first of all, you can only move this uh, side to side uh, to make sure that you don't make a weird shape from the actual side view. Um, now, the only problem is that this might have a little bit different angle than uh, just adjusting on the plane. So you just got to be a little bit careful and make sure it's good. So these are basically uh, how you would build a wheel flat. Okay, so now uh, one advantage of this method is that the CV structure stays somewhat very similar to the original curve because the original curve is actually a very natural shape. Um, now to find, uh, well, actually, let's do this. I'm just going to hide all these over here. And all you have to do is just grab a skin and that's it. Now you might want to give it a little bit of crown uh, depending 
maybe just a little bit like this and there is your wheel fat and you can get rid of this curve and yeah there it is it's got a very nice highlight and that's how you make a wheel fat all right thank you guys for watching and see you next time